welcome to some tips today in this video i will start a new series of 8085 microprocessor programming tutorial with training kit so in this video i will introduce and familiar with this simulator of the desktop and then i also show you how the training kit of 8085 works so first of all this is the 8085 simulator i have given the link in the description to download this software and install into your windows computer so check this description and download the software from the link and here it is after installation this software interface looks like that i will familiar one by one here it is the menu bar and the main thing is that here is the register a is the register and it is also called the accumulator uh, by default its value is nothing here i'm just showing you bc register pair de register pair hl register pair and here it is pc program counter stack pointer sp and here is some flag z flag s flag for some flag c for carry p and, and ac for auxiliary carry and i will introduce you and describe describe all the thing in future videos so subscribe to this channel to get more updates on a five processor and there is here it is also tool HTML to hex conversion suppose you want to add two numbers 10, 15 and 16, 17 then here you don't always cannot do you can do the smallest number 16 easily here the 16 is equals to 10 in hexadecimal and suppose I have given you 288 so you cannot do 288 at instant in your memory so here it is the tool that you can convert it directly to the hex using this tool brand vice versa decimal to hex hex to decimal also here is the output port value i will discuss in this about this in future video and here it is the memory and memory what does it do look at this here is something menu bar toolbar i will describe all the things in next videos not at all on one video because it will be very tough to you understand and here it is the memory address all we all know the internet my microprocessor had to tell of 64 kilobyte memory and that's why in 64 kilobyte memory when the program is written here it is also uses the 64 kilobyte memory also the data have stored also use the 64 kilobyte memory so this 64 kilobyte memory have been shared all throughout the all process so in the memory tool what does it do suppose here it is 64 kilobit memory and here it is the address all the address have been written so suppose you want to suppose here it is the maximum memory so suppose you want to store at memory 10 the value will be 20 so you can just push the value into the memory and update memory here is the memory and here is the value so 10 memory address you have entered is of decimal value so it is the hexadecimal conversion it will be 000a and there it is the address is 10 what i have entered here and the value will be 20 corresponding address and that's in this way you can store any value and to re check reset this memory here it is the reset menu bar register here is the register value have resetted flag flag value will be resetted and turn into zero input output port value will be resetted and memory value you can if choose this memory and the memory in nine location will be clear you can check it i am just showing here it is have been cleared 20 data to be gone there it is if I push again 20, uh, here it is instantly 20 added, and, and then if you enter reset on the, all the thing will be resetted and the memory and everything will be cleared. And here it is the program code you can write program here and to uh, assemble it. And mind it to assemble or run anything program, you have to save it fast. So you have to press the save button and save in your desktop after writing the code. And here it is the assemble. Assemble or if I do exactly same as compile function in C programming or any other programming language and execute also do the run run any C program and the execute will do and the assemble program same F8 and F9. Another program is debug. If what 
is done do when you press F5 every program will be compiled or execute one by one one line at a time so you can just debug it and if your program does not run you can press keep pressing F5 one by one and every line single line will be executed at an instance when you find that text program is not running or execution is not being done you can easily find out the programming language or you have written a assembly language that line have problem so you can identify easily which problem problem in which line in the program so this purpose you can do is this is the training kit of 8085 here it is all the registers and circuit is there here it is the LED light and here it is the output VGA port you can see your programming and watch the programming control your programming into the display of monitor you can connect the monitor and get the display instead of this LED display of 87 segment display you can view in your desktop so that is the output function here it is and here it is the main thing is that this is the output display and this is the this person is the code hexadecimal code what have we entered into the system it is first of all show here and result all thing is show here and the memory is just show here this purpose is for memory this purpose is for entered code as input or output so here is the button look at this here it is 8 button here it is 8 button 16 button and 16 button in the middle this is the input data it has 16 code a b c d e f so hexadecimal code can enter using this middle person and left person is something button and i will discuss all the button in details in next video as the programming lesson is going on but in briefly you can say the function of this purpose and look at this here is the button on the left next and previous next means after entering any value of the program line next will redirect to next line of the program to enter here and previous is also previous suppose you want to add two numbers after entering the first number you have to press next to go to the next number or any program when the top left in the red reset button do that program will go to the first line or the zeroth line and then program will start to load any program we first have to press the reset button then we have to press the insert memory button then we have to enter the memory from where we want to start the po write the program in the memory then press enter then start entering the hexadecimal code and after the execution after loading the program you have to execute it execution is to press the reset button then press go then press starting order or you can enter the starting address of the program and enter execute the program will compile using execute to get the result you have to do press the reset button then go to the exam memory enter the memory address click next that's all and i will show you all the thing in details in next video so keep subscribed to some tips and have a nice day